Hello all and welcome to tonight's beer review, which I am dubbing the worst job interview ever review. Because <laughs> I just gave the worst job interview ever for uh, what would basically be a dream job of working at a brewery. Um, wasn't completely my fault. The power went out, so the guys all there were probably all stressed out and everything. But, uh, you know, I, I just thought it was... Uh, I, I have never had such an awkward interview in my life. Um, anyways, on to the beer. So, in honor of today's awkward brewery review, a uh, brewery, um, interview, I'm going to be reviewing a local beer from Lanikai Brewery, which is the brewery in the town which I live in, Kailua. This is 808 Imperial IPA, and... It is locally brewed and bottled in Hawaii, literally two to three miles from my house. So, 8.1 ABV, and see here, just a little bit of writing on it. It says, select hops bring citrus, grapefruit, and floral notes to our signature IPA. A solid malt backbone adds a touch of sweetness. Well. Let's get to it, shall we? Well, I've heard a lot of good things about this from family members and friends. It's nice being, you know, coming from a family where most people enjoy uh, good beer. Poured it maybe a little bit too vigorously. So, a nice, very clear orange color, thick white head, looks has got some staying power to it. Whew. Maybe a little bit too cold, um, I'm going to have to warm up a little bit. Very dank smell. <laughs> So I get the very dank smell, and underneath that, um, grapefruit and sweet citrus. Definitely on the fruitier side, that nice dank smell. And by dank, you know what I mean, dank, yeah. Nice little light florals, and a hint of ozone too. For some reason I get ozone from uh, certain hops. And it's just me, I think. Medium bodied, not as thick as some IPAs, uh, I've Imperial IPAs I've had. So it's medium bodied on the tongue, but um, Pretty heavy bodied on the flavor. Nicely sweet malts, hints of caramel there in the front, and a lasting bitter hop finish, but not overly bitter. It's not mouth puckeringly bitter. Head retention was a bit weak. I've been reading a lot about brewing over the past week or so, and uh, I've learned a lot about how difficult head retention is in regards to making beer. So cheers to all the brewers who can really make a good head that lasts. After all, we know how difficult it is to give some good head.
bit of a tropical sweet, tropical fruit sweetness as it warms up a bit in the front. That sort of lasts through the mid palate and into the finish. Fades while the bitter hop finish sort of remains. The bittering hops sort of kind of have a cross in between the slight resiny feel, but more of a grapefruit rind feel. So what are my main takeaways from this particular beer? Um, one, kind of following with uh, the style, you know, the uh, alterations towards style that most Hawaii brewers follow. Bit of a lighter body compared to the baseline standards for uh, each style. Relative to style, of course, always. However, those looking for the Imperial IPA um, Imperial IPA aspects of very strong malt flavors followed by relatively intense hot flavors including a strong lasting bitter hop finish pretty much there. On the critical side head retention was rather weak and um, while the nose was had some very nice nuanced overlapping things, it was actually kind of hard to suss out the flavor aspects in the actual drinking. They're kind of a little bit mushy. Tend to like a little bit more popping. That's just me. And by popping, I mean them, them popping out at me. Mm. However, those are more or less aesthetic criticisms, and this is a very drinkable quality craft ale, um, quality craft IPA, excuse me, I will, which I guess is an ale, and one that I will be returning to. It's currently distributed, oh, moth, sorry, little tiny moth flying in front of my face. Uh, I hope it's not eating my clothes. So many of these during the summer. Anyways, um, I digress. This is something I will return to. Definitely want to give it a try on draft. And, um, you know, if you're in Hawaii, give it a shot. It's definitely worth it. So, that's your beer review for tonight, folks. Lanikai Brewing Company, 808 Imperial IPA. Some minor aesthetic flaws, but overall, quality drink and one worth pursuing while in Hawaii. Especially if you're in Kailua, where I live. Hometown pride, yo. <laughs> well, that's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers.